Hello everyone, I'm Armagan, and welcome back to Ninja Iraqi Dinar News, your trusted source for all the latest updates and in-depth analysis on the Iraqi Dinar. If you're new to our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay updated on all our future content. Let's dive right into today's discussion. Today, we're examining a significant piece of news coming straight from Iraq's financial sector. Recent reports indicate that Iraq's financial revenues have soared to over 11 trillion dinars, which is roughly equivalent to about 11 billion US dollars, all within just one month. Now, this is a massive development, especially considering the nature of Iraq's economy, which is heavily reliant on oil, what's often referred to as a rentier state. But what does this mean for the Iraqi dinar? Let's unpack this. First off, a rentier economy is one where a large portion of a country's revenues comes from the external rent of its resources to other countries, rather than from domestic production. For Iraq, this resource is predominantly oil. With such a huge inflow of cash you might wonder about the implications for the Iraqi dinar. There's an ongoing debate among investors and financial analysts about the potential for the dinar to stabilize and possibly revalue, given these robust financial inflows. Intel guru Mant Goat suggests that even in a rentier economy like Iraq's, the Iraqi dinar could realistically maintain a rate of at least $3 or more. That's a bold statement considering the current exchange rate is significantly lower than this figure. So how feasible is this? To better understand, let's break down the components. The key thing to understand here is that the sheer size of financial inflows from oil can provide a cushion for the economy, but doesn't automatically translate to a stronger currency. The central bank's policies, political stability, and how these revenues are reinvested domestically play crucial roles. Exactly. And that brings us to the next part of our discussion. What is Iraq doing with this money? It's crucial not only that Iraq generates revenue but how it uses these funds to foster a sustainable and diversified economy. Reports suggest significant portions are earmarked for rebuilding infrastructure, healthcare and education, along with bolstering foreign reserves, which can strengthen the dinar in the long run. Another critical factor is the political climate. Stability here can boost investor confidence which in turn may favor a stronger dinar. In conclusion, while the dream of a $3 rate for the Iraqi dinar sounds optimistic, it is contingent on a multitude of factors aligning perfectly. It's a situation we will continue to monitor closely. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more in-depth analysis and updates. Thank you for watching Ninja Iraqi Dinar News. Stay informed, stay engaged and we'll see you in the next video.